Alright folks, so, in life it's always important to learn from your, fa fa from your failures. You're gonna fail a lot in life, it's inevitable, but as long as you learn from your failures and what you do wrong, it's all good. Because you can learn some valuable lessons and improve on future attempts. So, I failed big time on my first attempt at the Hector Hard Mode Iron Man, but we're not gonna dwell on the failure, instead we're gonna think back on it and uh, realize what we can learn from it, so we can do better this time. So I learned a couple things uh, playing this Hector Hardman Iron Man. The first thing I learned is that it is a lot harder to play Smart Fire Emblem if you are talking while you're doing it and trying to explain your thought process and being entertaining. That makes things a little more tricky and made me miss a lot of key things that I should have noticed. Second thing that, that I learned is that Marcus is not invincible, and I can't just throw him out in the middle <laughs> of a million enemies and expect him to survive. At least not while he has somebody rescued. So, hopefully we can learn from these aspects and do better this time. So... We... sorry. False friends. <laughs> we have to erase and start anew. Hector hard mode. Alright, we're on another journey again. Create a new tactician? Yes. We'll enter the information, all right. Not Mark, not Kevin. Kevin was incompetent. We need a new tactician. Uh... I could just enter my name, but what fun is that? <laughs> hmm... Oh, this would be nice if I could actually pull Twitch chat, but I, th I don't think there's anyone in chat right now. Which is fine. I play this just to have fun. If I get people in chat, that's just a bonus. I'll go with, uh... How about... <laughs> how about Tyrone? <laughs> there we go. Tyrone. Fire Affinity? Uh, which one had the... Okay, April. Are these the settings? Yes, we'll use those settings. We can also skip for the story cutscenes. Let's just get straight to the action. Alright. First thing we're gonna do, combat animations to two, game speed fast, tech speed fast. Change the window to that purple color. I think this is still a good strategy to break down the wall immediately. I think that's a good solid first turn. Alright, we'll let Hector take this guy out with the hand axe. Another thing that I learned is that uh, Hector misses with the hand axe a lot. Like, a 60% chance is actually like a 20% chance, apparently. Even though the game uses 2R in it. Alright. Matthew, you're gonna attack the archer. Nice job, sport. Alright, archer's gonna attack Matthew. I hate that 1% crit. But thankfully, nothing comes of it. Alright, Thief's gonna open the door and then open the chest after that. Alright, mm, This is where things get a little more dicey. Because on this next turn, the Thief is gonna open the door and then he's gonna open up the chest and purloin that red gem. We don't want him to purloin the red gem. Does Matthew have... No, he doesn't have vulnerabilities. That's a shame. We're gonna open the door and then we're gonna have Hector finish off this guy. And I'm gonna use the Wolf Bale more for accuracy. Yes, we do need to preserve the Wolf Bale a little bit, but we can use it in the first chapter or two, and then we, when we buy an Iron Axe, it's all good. I also need to be on the lookout for more things to steal. Alright. Sweet. Hector can move on here. I don't really want to break open that wall. Alright, uh... Hector, keep the Wolf Bale equipped to deal with the Knight. So now that he's standing on the chest, Mr. Thief is going to move over and open this door, I think. Matthew does need healing, though, so... Armor Knight's too slow to be able to reach him. Yeah, we want the Wolf Bale out so we can deal with this Armor Knight. I think I used the Hand Axe too much on my first attempt. Alright, Hector, first level up, let's see what you got. I think that was exactly the same as his first level up on my first attempt. 
All right, sweet. Oh, great. Hector got his own satchel of vulnerabilities. That's good. That's really good. All right, Thief's gonna go over there. There's no way Matthew can take out that archer all on his own. Hmm. I only want... I'm gonna move Hector down to here, equip the hand axe, and then use a vulnerary. And this way, only one archer will be able to attack him at a given point. And now I'm gonna have Matthew open up the chest. And this... Actually, this way an archer might attack Matthew. Alright, cool. Actually, that's not super cool, but I think Hector will be okay. Oh, Hector will definitely be okay, because he missed. I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, soldiers move before the archers do. That's good to know. Alright. Uh, Hec Hector's 14 HP, I think? Yeah! How much damage does this guy do? Six. Pfft, yeah, he's gonna be fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this soldier from a distance. Even if he gets hit by the soldier and by the one of the archers, Hector's not gonna die, and he's not going to kill the the archer on retaliation. All right, how far can you move? Okay, we're gonna move Matthew up here and let him steal whatever he wants, and then we can just engage in a stealing fest. Yeah, so there's no way an archer is going to deal more damage than a soldier with a lance, so... And only one archer can actually attack him at this point. Alright, good job, Hector. Alright, second level up for Hector. Alright, he got defenses. I really want him to get a couple points in speed, but... He can do this for the time being. Oh wow, that thief actually did not steal from Matthew. Okay, well... Interesting. Well, Hector's gonna sit here and use another vulnerary. He's just got a bow, you've just got a bow, and you've got a lockpick. I would like that lockpick, please. I like engaging in this steal-off. Hello, Sir Marcus! <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Welcome to the Iron Man, yes. Yeah, you can check the damage that they do. I was more just guesstimating, because, again, I, I had an attempt on this last week, so some of it is still fresh in my mind. All right. Hector's taken more damage than I'm comfortable with, but he can still survive one more hit. And yeah, now the two thieves have the exact same speed, so they can steal from each other. But once Matthew levels up, he'll probably get speed, and thus we'll be in business. All right. I'm going to have Hector pull back a bit, and then... Or alternatively... The Thief is not going to... Well, I guess just on the off chance the Thief actually does attack Hector, I'm going to pull back. Hand Axe Equip and use a Vulnerary. I really don't want to die. <laughs> Alright. I'm giving my lockpick back! <gasps> I want to steal it! I want to sell it at the store! Because we get no money in the early game. Okay, yeah, this is what happened last time, where Hector... Literally kept throwing his hand axe with a 62% chance to hit, and he kept missing like 20 times in a row. It was really stupid. Alright. Hector, now you're gonna use that wolf bail. And now hopefully Matthew can get the kill? I don't care. I actually really don't care if I steal that extra lockpick. I more just did it to keep him distracted. Oh sweet, Matthew just finishes him. Thief will not attack as long as they can either steal or use their lockpick. Good to know. I didn't want to just absolutely rely on that because I know sometimes things can happen in this game. Oh, interesting. The thief is not going after Matthew. He's... Oh, yeah, he's... I think the thief... I think the thief's AI is to prioritize opening doors and chests first and foremost, and if they literally cannot reach any locked doors or chests, then they will steal. And then if they can't do that, then they'll attack. Or potentially try to run away, depending on how low their HP is. Alright, excellent. Oh, Hector needs some vulnerabilities. <laughs> Matthew's got a few. Give me that lockpick. Also, I guess if I steal his only lockpick, then he kind of needs to steal it back. <laughs> 
<laughs> sure. He can't damage us. Oh, wow, nice hit. <laughs> oh, no, we get doubled, but he doesn't deal any damage anyways. <laughs> they won't attack even if they're blocked. Interesting. I swear I thought enemy thieves would attack you. Maybe not. Alright, Matthew, how much... Okay, you've still got room. Let's keep stealing this from him. <laughs> it's free experience points for Matthew, at the very least. Hector, see if you can finish this guy off. Oh, ho -ho, critical hit! Boom! In your face! Alright, this... Okay, this version of Chapter 1 is going much better than my initial attempt at it. Alright, Hector can move all the way there. Sweet. Give me that vulnerary. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Alright, that archer up there has some vulneraries we can steal, so we definitely want to go up there. Also, I believe Wire has vulneraries to steal. Yep. Yeah, we're using the wolf bail a lot, but it's just so accurate. Thank you for not critting, Hector. I appreciate that. Alright, another level up for Hector. Please get speed. Thank you! Oh, that's a great level up. Speed and defense. That's exactly what I want to see. We need to make Hector tanky, and we need to have, have him start doubling things fairly quickly. Do I remember the chapter where I made up with him? I, I am very familiar with this game. I'm just not really familiar with the specifics of hard mode. If that makes sense. I've never beaten Hector hard mode before, and I don't think I've really made it past the level where you recruit Raven on hard mode. Alright, there we go. Speed and skill. That's a, that's a very Matthew level up. At this point... <laughs> let's see if we can finish him with the hand axe. Nope. Alright, Archer's gonna attack Matthew then, and that's okay. <laughs> that's a very roundabout way of attacking. Alright, Matthew, just so you know, if you miss, I'm going to have to have Hector rescue... Okay, no. If he misses a 91, then... Nice job, Matthew. Gotta keep Matthew alive. Matthew is one of those characters you really want to keep alive, because you don't get another thief for a while. Alright, Matthew. Give me that satchel of vulnerabilities, because you're going to need to steal some for the boss. Alright, Hector, Hector's almost topped off on HP. Steal the vulneraries from Wire. Great name for a boss, by the way. <laughs> and we do not attack, we rescue. And there we go. Drop Matthew. And I think Hector can take one hit from the boss. Oh, no. <laughs> he can take way more than that. Oh, sweet. <laughs> You're not Marquis Laves' assassins, are you? You're too good. Too professional. Nothing like those idiots over there. You've no need to know, little Lord Hector. A fool like you sneaking out of the country alone? You'll go missing, never to return. Your body will never be found. Tidy story, eh? <laughs> Sir Marcus, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Looks like your luck's run out. Our luck? What are you... You see, I'm about as angry as I've ever been. I doubt that even a dozen of you could slow me down. Prepare to die! Aw, oh, Hector, you should have crit there. That would have been amazing. That's okay. I swear Wire dealt way more damage. I thought he dealt like 13 damage. Maybe not. I do know that, at least on hard mode, some of the enemy stats will fluctuate. It's They're kind of randomly generated, so it might be Wire just got some less strength on this roll compared to last time. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord Nurgle. Easier to get for the game with a reliable team. Oh, I am not going for ranking. No, no way. Oh my gosh, Hector got speed again. Yes! Oh, that's that's really good. Whew, that was close. Eh, that was pretty easy. Oh man, yeah, this is going much better. It's the Star Fox music. Lord Hector, I have it. I know where Elwood is. Great. Okay, so mistake I made last time. I didn't realize this brigand could attack this forest, and I threw Sarah over there. Not a good thing to do, so... Can Hector double this Pegasus Knight now? No. That's a shame. Okay, we definitely want to get rid of the, this Pegasus Knight first and foremost. 
It's Pegasus Knight. I don't want to move towards Matthew or Sarah. So you can do that, Hector. Uh, hand Axe should hit. There we go. Nice job. Hector, <laughs> Hector and Oswin are kind of the saviors. Oswin in particular, he's basically invincible at the beginning of the game, so we are going to take heavy advantage of that. All right, where can the archer... Archer can attack that forest. So what we're going to do, we're going to have Matthew move to this forest to draw the brigand, but not the archer. And then Sarah... Let's see. I think Sarah can just kind of stay there. I'll move her one square down. No enemy can reach her. All right. Now down to Elwood's crew. Marcus, you're going to go and get the secret book, which I actually might sell. Secret book, as far as stat-boosting items, is probably among the worst. And we have literally no cash, and Secret Book sells for 4,000. So I think I might rather have the 4,000 right now than plus 4% hit rate or plus... and plus 2% crit rate for somebody. I think that's what I kind of want to do. Alright, Pegasus Knight can reach you over here. We'll draw her out with Bart Ray. But we don't want to draw out the Brigand with Bart Ray. So Bart Ray, go on the house, visit it. Is it really... it's important to trust your companions. <laughs> You're darn tootin', sweetheart. <laughs> Alright, Dorcas, you can kind of build supports like that. <laughs> Let's hope we can get Ella Good this playthrough. Ooh. We'll also have Lowen set on the fort. I think Lowen's a great choice for the fort. There we go. <laughs> Glass and Bug. Oh, who can... <laughs> Glass and Bug. Some of the bosses have great names in this. Okay, well that's not good. That's not what we want to see. My personal favorite is Bat of the Beast, but, I mean, it's hard to top Bat of the Beast. Okay, good, good. Oh, Matthew, why do you, why are you so weak? Okay, at least at least he can two round this guy. I was about to be like, wait, if he can't two round the brigand, then Sarah's in danger. All right, here comes the Pegasus Knight. I can't believe I'm not doubling the Pegasus Knights. Hector has a good amount of extra speed, and Pegasus Knights get weighed down by literally anything that's not a slim lance. All right, I figured the Pegasus Knight would attack Lowen if he had that. Ugh. You missed! At least Lowen is tanky. At least he can take a couple hits. Nice dodge, Hector. That extra bit of speed is working out for you. This guy's annoying, just because he's tough to hit. He always hangs out in the forest. Lowen! You can't dodge even a single s attack? <laughs> really? <laughs> Alright, Hector missed with the Hand Axe. We just gotta take out the Pegasus Knights. Keep Sarah safe. At least Lowen's on the fort. I think if Lowen wasn't on that fort, he would've died. Alright. Don't wanna... I wanna keep Sarah and Matthew safe, so... Matthew, stick, stay in this forest, kill this brigand. You and Sarah can kind of hang out over here, because I, you will both die very, very fast. <laughs> and I do not want Sarah to die! She is my only healer right now. <laughs> Skill, defense, and resistant. Okay, I'll take it. I kind of would like strength, but that's asking kind of a lot. Alright. Let's move Hector on the mountains. Take out this Pegasus Knight. And then Oswin can kind of function as a wall and take out the other Pegasus Knights. Okay, he's on the plane. Let's move Oswin over here. Please hit with this. Dark, duck on it. I, t I swear on Hector Hard Mode, the, the hit rates have been changed, so that it's it shows a different amount than it actually is. Alright, at least they're still safe. Okay. Oh, great. The archer is going to be lured over towards Matthew. That's not what we want. Sarah, you're gonna move over here. Marcus, come over here. Sell that secret book. We don't want it. And buy some vulneraries. <laughs> Might as well buy free. Vulneraries are very valuable at the beginning of the game. Oh, Rebecca! It's your time! You can't one-shot Pegasus Knights, because you're that bad. But at least you can severely weaken them. Alright, come on, Dork. Oh my gosh, what, Dorcas takes that much damage from one Of course he does, because he's Dorcas and he's awful. 
good lord. Moen should be able to take one more attack if he gets attacked, so I'm I feel fine not having him use a vulnerary. Bart Ray the Brave is gonna take out this guy. There we go! Oh, I hope those brigands can't reach Dorcas, otherwise he's dead. I bet they can. Dog on it. Dorcas is dead, I think. That's okay. I'm okay with losing Dor As far as enemies, as, as far as allies I can lose, Dorcas is probably top on my list of I do not care if I lose them. Alright, well, rip Dorcas. Why is the mercenary going after Oswin? He can't damage Oswin. Maybe he can't damage Hector either, but... Oswin even has weapon triangle advantage. Unless Dorcas dodges this arrow, he's dead. And Dorcas doesn't dodge anything. It's one of the reasons why he's terrible. Oh, they can both reach him. Oh, never mind, he's so dead. <laughs> what happened to Dorcas? Sorry, Natalie. I swore I'd help you. That's okay, he only had an axe. I, I, I truly don't really care about that. <laughs> I guess, I, I guess, if now that I think about it, I would rather lose Rebecca than lose Dorcas. Dorcas at least can be useful for taking out some early game units, but eh, I, I prefer Bart Ray anyways. But now I can't get the Dorcas Bart Ray support, which is a shame. I actually forget who Bart Ray can support. Wait, what? Okay, well, I forgot about Mr. Handax. Thankfully, Sarah's starting speed is enough that she didn't really... <laughs> she can dodge an occasional attack. <laughs> Okay. Yep, and now here here comes Mr. Archer. We're in a bit of a bind right now. Okay, we gotta take out this Pegasus Knight. I'm actually gonna use the Wolf Bale. Just for the accuracy. We also gotta watch out for Zagon. Actually... You know what we gotta do, folks? We gotta have Oswin rescue Sarah. Okay, Oswin, you got the javelin equipped? Cool. Rescue Sarah. You're invincible. You'll be fine. Work in the Pegasus. Okay, cool. Pegasus Knight can't move and attack uh, Matthew, so Matthew can do this safely. There we go. Cool, and no, actually, the, the Brigand can reach Matthew, but um, I'm not super worried. Matthew's got high dodge, and the hand axe is very uh, unreliable. Okay. Is there anybody powerful enough to take out this Brigand? Oh, Bart Ray is. Yes! Thank, thank goodness for Bart Ray. Okay, well, this is a bit problematic. I think if we triple team this guy, we can take him down. Who has the lowest chance of getting hit? You will take eight damage. <sighs> Okay, here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. If that wood gets hit... Okay. Now we can have Lowen to the rescue! Alright, Lowen, rescue Elwood, and pull back. Marcus, you're going to move in. You've got your... Cool. We're going to rescue Rebecca. Cool! There we go! <laughs> Rescuing is very important. Okay, Oswin, seriously... Stop missing these 70 percents. Barre is bulky enough that he can take a couple hits. Plus, Barre is gonna get some good EXP. <laughs> okay, Zagon's on the move. That's not good. All right, Hector is leveling up really nicely. He's already level 6, oh my gosh. That is a very good level up! Everything but speed, but still, I'll take it. 
I can't complain about that. Thank you for dodging, Matthew. Oh, man, Barry can even take another shot from that. And I think he can kill the, the archer anyways. Good, I'm glad Matthew can take another hit from the archer as well. Okay. We need to kill this mercenary, because he's going to be super annoying. And we're going to do it with this. There we go. Thank you, Oswin. I don't care if you're an experienced hog. Need that. Oh, darn it. Hector can't take on that freaking Pegasus Knight by himself. It's actually very annoying. How much strength does the Pegasus Knight have? 13, and Matthew has 4 defense! Okay, he'll survive. Sweet. Alright. Can Hector kill either of these? Matthew, you're gonna go in- Oh, Matthew can take out the archer. Okay, Matthew, go into the forest, take out the archer, and you should survive. Okay, I would definitely rather Hector attack the Pegasus Knight than the Brigand. We also kind of need to hit the other armory to get some weapons. Uh, Marcus. Darn it, you deal too much damage. Oh, that's right, Babare can, I think, kill in one hit. Marcus can always come to the rescue and save him later. Nice job, Barre. Yeah, Barre is so much better than Dorcas. Alright, first Barre level up. Okay, that's kind of bad. A little bit of extra skill is nice, but I would have preferred some speed. Rebecca, we're gonna... You know. Alright. <laughs> What's the range of the... Okay. Rebecca, we're gonna drop you there, out of range of the Pegasus Knights. Just like so. Okay. Lowen, you're gonna drop that one. Alright, here we go. Oh, doggone it! You think you can escape from Hector? He has a hand axe. Yeah, you're not hitting Matthew. <laughs> like that. No way, no how. Hector's hand axe is almost broken, but that's okay. He's a one-man army. We can't let the Pegasus Knights reach our armored units. Actually, I'm not really sure why I dropped Rebecca there. Alright, Marcus. Bowen desperately needs one of these. Yeah, we can move low enough now. Probably should have had his lance equipped instead, but oh, oh well. Alright, we're gonna move Barre up here. I would give him some of those vulneraries that you have in Hellwood. You can get vulneraries for Marcus, and Marcus can go and buy some weapons. Give me, give me both of those, Marcus. You don't need both of them. need another sword for Ellawood. We're gonna need an axe for Hector. And that should be it. We also need to sell that uh, gem at some point. Alright, what's the range of this Pegasus Knight? Okay, Rebecca can move up into the forest. That's great. Let's try and... Cool! Alright, only, only the boss and the brigand left. Sweet. We'll move Matthew away from there, lure the brigand out here. Oh, sweet, he's gonna attack Oswin. <laughs> you want to attack the wall? You can't hurt the wall. Well, actually, he can, but barely. Alright, 
Give me that iron sword, and I'm gonna use another vulnerary. <laughs> that wood's gotta stay alive! Alright, what's Zagon's? Okay, Zagon is still going to be held back a little bit, so... We'll drop Sarah off there. go! I actually don't- that's not enough for a moment to take him out, is it? Darn it. But it is enough for Lowen and Matthew combined to take him out. Actually, Matthew might be able to take- oh, never mind, Matthew can take him out on his own. Sweet. Now, unless I miscalculated, Zagon should not be able to reach him. Sweet. Okay. Now, here's the... Okay. With an Iron Sword that has a weight of 5, Marcus doesn't get weighed down at all. Marcus has 11 speed. Zagon has 7 speed. So I believe Marcus will double Zagon. How much attack does he have? Marcus has 20 attack. Sweet. Okay. So, what we're gonna do here... Let's see, house gives 10 avoid, which I don't like. We're gonna move Marcus right here, with the Iron Sword, he'll, that'll lure Zagon onto this spot. He'll start attacking, and then we can fin uh, Marcus will just not kill him, which means that we'll be able to send in our weaker units to finish him off. Curses! What are you waiting for?! Well, what are you waiting? Oh wait, Marcus does kill? No, 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 he doesn't. I can math. There we go. Zagon has nine health left. Marcus is useful for weakening enemies and rescuing people, but not not for much besides that. Oh, also Matthew. Uh, who can go to the store? Not a whole not a whole lot of people actually. First off, we might need Matthew to kill the boss. At the very least, that Rebecca can do some damage. Nice job, Rebecca. All right, and can Lowen finish the job? I wish that I wish that Elwood. Actually, if we let him move down, Elwood can finish the job. Let's just make sure Elwood can survive an attack. He has 24 attack. Actually, no, Elwood can just not survive. So that's actually a bad idea. Lowen, can you finish the job? Yes, you can, and you're guaranteed to do so. All right. Here, take this red gem and, uh... Take one of those lockpicks. I don't need two of them. Bart Ray, take this red gem and take this lockpick. <laughs> and we'll talk to Elwood. Which does nothing, but hey. All right. We're gonna sell the red gem for 2,500, and we'll sell the lockpick for 480. Beautiful. Oh, Sarah, uh, we're, we gotta use you. Also, at this point, we're gonna do solo animations. We're gonna turn on animations for everyone but Sarah, because I don't like seeing the healing animations. We gotta start leveling our girl Sarah up, though. And here we go. Goodbye, Zagon. No, oh, uh, this was not so easy as it seemed. All right, well, we lost Dorcas, which is kind of a shame, and Elwood didn't level up at all. But that's okay, we got next chapter. Nice, oh my gosh, Lowen leveled speed and defense. That's fantastic. Lowen only has like a 20 to 25% speed growth, I think, so it's really good when he levels speed. Who is is that all of them? Hector, where did you come from? Who cares? Next chapter. <laughs> H Hector rescues Elwood, and the quest continues. Alright. Another thing that I learned. We need to keep a close eye on Guy at all times, also. This soldier has some vulnerabilities to steal if we want. That archer also has some vulnerabilities to steal. Okay. That soldier and that archer... Ideally, we want to steal from them. Uh, I still don't know if I really want to get the Gaiden chapter or not. Alright, 
A lot of enemies are down here, so... Rebecca, you're gonna get one hit off and then Marcus is gonna rescue you. Never mind, Rebecca, you're so bad you don't even get one hit. So if we do that, Marcus should weaken a lot of enemies in retaliation. Darn it. He Marcus, actually, wait, come back. Hector needs his axe. We also should start building up the Yellowwood Hector support as soon as possible. That'll really help things out. Also, I, I wish I knew who Bartray could support him on these starting... I know he could support Dorcas, but I think that's it out of these starting players. So, Bartray, you're going to pull the Pegasus Knight... I'm not even going to focus on that village. We have enough money, we don't really need the money from the Gaiden, and that Gaiden is uh, a very difficult one <laughs> to do, so... Do you have a Hand Axe? You have an Iron Axe. Wait, but one of these guys has a Steel Bow. I remember that Steel Bow guy. Alright. Move Matthew here, so the Brigand won't be able to go into the forest. And there we go. Nice dodge. Matthew still can't one-round this guy, though. Alright, here we go. Bart Ray the Brave. Oh my gosh, Bart Ray, you get doubled by that? Wow. Okay, thank you, yes. See? Marcus does not one-round these guys because he has Rebecca literally weighing him down. Rebecca's best use for the early game is literally being deadly for Marcus. <laughs> Congratulations, Rebecca. Now, I, I need to make sure I don't run into the same trap as last time where I did something similar and Marcus ended up dying, but I made sure there was only a couple of people who would attack him. Let's weaken the archer. With the wall. <laughs> I love Oswin. Oswin is seriously one of my favorites. Okay. <sighs> Man. Okay, good. Okay. We're gonna heal Bart Ray first. <laughs> that way, if Bart Ray happens to miss a 90%, he won't die. <laughs> nice job, Bart Ray. I really need you to level speed soon. That, that three base speed is really hurting you. Mm, no, we need to pull Matthew back. Again, I am not risking Matthew dying. <laughs> not a risk I'm willing to take. Doggone it, Bowen. Please hit. Thank you. Now, wait a second. If I move Elwood down there, he might die. Unless I have Marcus take out someone. No. Pfft, never mind. Nope. I am not moving Elwood down there. <laughs> that would be utter suicide. Alright, that Steel Bow guy kind of has to die, though. Yeah, Steel Bow guy has to die. Now, unfortunately, I don't like using Mark as a Silver Lance. Will Lowen be okay if I do this? 14 attack, 14 attack, 11 attack. And he has 8 defense, so that would be 6 damage and 6 damage and... Oh, no, he'll survive. Let's go Lowen! Yeah. I forgot Lowen has 8 defense and 24 HP. He'll survive. He'll survive even if all three of those enemies hit him. Oh, no, no, no! No! Doggone it! Why are there so many Pegasus Knights on hard mode?
That, that's, are you kidding me? Alright, we're gonna visit here and get the mine. Which is a bad item if you're not using glitches. I should have re-equipped his stuff, but alright. Bart Ray, get a kill. Alright, that's not good. Man, Sarah dies so easily. If you don't level her up in Wind's story. I hate all these Pegasus Knights. Alright, Bart Ray, you're getting... You're getting far worse level ups this time than you did on my first playthrough. I might have to bench you. We need to get Elwood with some experience. Oh man, that was a lot of experience. But at least Marcus is still alive. I don't like using Marcus, but he's kind of necessary for these early chapters. I'm gonna move back. I, I really want that Elwood Hector support. ASAP. Yeah, I should have re-equipped him to have the Iron Sword again. Because now Marcus is gonna just kill all these enemies, and I don't really want that. Hey Samuel, welcome. Yeah... I'm not used... To... So, I'm the, I'm the rare person... Oh, sweet, Barry didn't get doubled there. I'm the rare person who actually really likes Lin Mode and always plays it. So, I'm not used to Sarah being, like, a base level one when we play this. I'm also not used to Hector Hard Mode with all of these Pegasus Knights everywhere, so... Yeah. Okay, well... At this point, Barre, I I'd rather that Elwood would get the experience than you, because you've gotten two level ups and you haven't leveled speed yet, which is unfortunate. Ooh, and Elwood does it with style. <laughs> You're not sick of one mode either. Yeah, I, f I feel like it's kind of a stigma. A lot of, like, the hardcore fans... Wow, that's a good level up. A lot of the hardcore fans really like, um, criticizing win mode of being basically, like, just a forced tutorial. But it really does help for these hardcore levels. Alright, hang on. How many enemies... Again, I have no problem with sending Lowen over here. Actually, wait. Darn it. These enemies have so much HP. Even combined, they can't do anything. But maybe if Marcus steps in... But Marcus is getting low on HP, so I really do need to be wary of that. <laughs> but I do like using Marcus rescuing Rebecca to heavily wound enemies. Okay. Here we go. Never thought I'd see the day that Matthew would be dealing more damage in battle than Lowen, but that's partly just because he's doubling, and Lowen is not. All right, Matthew. Come on, big money, big money. Okay, well, that's that's not great, but at least he got speed. That's some extra evasion. Give me that javelin. Here we go. Elwood Hector support, you definitely want it. <laughs> it makes Elwood quite a bit more powerful. Oh, hi! Oh my gosh, thank you, Matthew. I... <laughs> wow, way, way to beat the odds, Matthew. That's great, because I'm pretty sure the archer would have been able to finish him off if he had gotten hit by that. All the, all the brigand... Yep, sure enough. Matthew would have died if he hadn't dodged that. <sighs> Yeah, I, I honestly, the reason I'm Iron Manning is just because I figured this is the only way I'm really going to end up beating Hector Hard Mode. Because I'm usually the guy who's like, oh no, I let somebody die, I'm resetting. It's like, you're not using Dorcas anyways, though. It's like, I don't care, I'm resetting. It's more just a matter, a matter of principle than anything else. But So I figured if I had to force myself to keep going even when characters die, then I would do better. Of course, this also just means that, like, oh, well, guess what? You, uh... <laughs> what's the word? You just let your lord die, so now you're starting the whole thing over, which is probably counterintuitive. Counterproductive. But yeah, I like a challenge. Oh, man. Still not enough. Alright, well, 
Matthew, you've got to get out of there. I also think Marcus needs to get out of there. <laughs> Marcus, do you have any vulnerabilities? You don't, but you do have a mine. Mine? Not, no, I want to trade with... Hector. Hector, you're not using these vulnerabilities. Give one to Marcus. Alright, Lowen, we're, we're gonna put you in the woods, Lowen. That'll give you better survivability. Okay, we pulled Guy. We pulled Guy, we gotta watch out. Doggone it! Can the archer reach Matthew too? He better not be able to. I bet he can, though. Actually, maybe not, because I did move Matthew as far as I think... Okay, no, no, Archer cannot reach him. Good. Yes, please, attack the wall! Break your weapons against his armor. I need to get another javelin at this... Actually, I need to get two javelins at this upcoming shop, because Oswin's going to break his, and Lowen needs his own. Alright. I'm not going to make this... Okay. We're going to move you up here... You're going to attack this archer. Gotta keep everyone out of the range of Guy. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. He cannot extend that range. That's good. Darn it, I really wish that we had Sarah. Nice job, Hector. Alright. Bart Ray, Bart Ray, I'm gonna give you another chance! <laughs> I'm not giving up on you just yet, but if you get another bad level up, then you're benched. But I still need you for some of these early chapters. Alright. Oh, where can that archer reach? Okay. So Guy can reach everywhere up there. He can't reach these woods, though. Wait, just, just... Okay. He cannot reach those woods. How many other characters can, though? Archer can. Soldier can. That archer can. Okay, that's three enemies. Bowen has eight defense, though, so... Okay, that guy deals barely any damage. That guy... Oh, no, Bowen will survive. Yeah, put him over here. Again. Guy cannot reach there, so no worries. Cool. So now we can recruit Guy on this next turn, which is really good. Are you serious? I keep missing with these very high percents to hit. I'm used to anything at 70 or above being basically a 100% chance to hit. Oh my gosh, Lowen is amazing. <laughs> Lowen's like, I couldn't help but notice that uh, Bart Ray is kind of failing you. I'm here to pick up the slack. Okay, first things first. We're going to talk to Guy and recruit him. Guy is... Hmm. I do want to... I still want to try using Guy. I really do want to try using Guy. Alright. <laughs> Mar Marcus with Rebecca rescued is best character. See? That Hector support. That Hector support is what's allowing Elwood to deal that much damage. Normally, he would do almost nothing. <laughs> nice job, Bart Ray. Hmm. If only I didn't have to use the killing edge, but... Oh, shoot. Forgot to... I forgot to turn on animations for him. Actually, because I don't have my healer, I'm gonna just set him all to two again. Boop, 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 boop. 
Okay. Wow. Even even Oswin doubles this guy. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go there. We're gonna trade the javelin to Lowen, and Lowen's gonna use the javelin and hopefully hit both of these. Nice job, Lowen. Very good. Thunder is best support in 7? I think so. I don't know a whole lot about the supports, but I do know, yeah, Thunder support gives you extra attack, and I think a little bit of extra critical hit as well. So, very, very good support. Alright. Okay, we're not getting the Merlinus side quest, but that's okay, I wasn't planning on getting it anyways. Especially if we don't have Dorcas. Or Sarah. It's quite a bit harder without them. Alright, but not. I don't want to trade with the person I'm with. Okay. We're gonna give Guy the Iron Sword, and we're gonna have Marcus equip the Iron Axe and move him back onto the floor. Darn it, Guy! Bart Race free base speed, it's hard to tell who's going to be doubling him and who's not. But again, Bart Ray has... I feel like how good Bart Ray is is entirely dependent on his first couple of level ups. If he gets speed once or twice, he can be a really solid unit, and if he just doesn't level up speed, if you get speed screwed of him, then he's basically unusable. It's a shame. Uh, do you have... you do. Alright, how many units can reach Guy? I think just just the one, never mind. We don't need to do anything special. Let's build up that Guy and Matthew support. And of course, building up the Owlwood and Hector support. I'll dunk on it. I freaking hate enemy Pegasus Knights. They're everywhere and make your, like, wall-building tactics useless. This is also my problem with Guy. His, he doesn't have enough attack power, and he kind of gets overshadowed by a lot of these, uh... a lot of the other better sword fighters. Oh, wait, with your rapier, no, you can't. You're that bad. How about if, if Oswin helps you? <laughs> if Oswin gives you a hand, can you finish off this guy? Thank you. Elwood's one of those characters you really do have to use, no matter what you're doing, just because he's forced onto so many maps. Oh, sweet, we don't even need the rapier now. Alright. I I really do want to get Ella good. We got we got so many great Ellawood level ups on our first attempt, so I I definitely want to keep that coming. All right, Barry. Nope, that's too much. Using our last Matthew vulnerary, <laughs> we gotta buy some more. That's a lot of damage. Hitting me! So many misses! Oh well. Guy finished the job. I want to try using Guy. He might be a little bit better on hard mode. But again, his strength growth is just too shaky. Wow, that's not a great level up. No, 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 no. We are not dropping Rebecca. <laughs> oh, man. Marcus is a lot less accurate now. Partly because that's weapon triangle disadvantage, but still. 
Dog, dog on it. I don't want you to deal that much damage. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. It's a Pegasus Knight. They're super annoying. Let's just take them out. Thank you, Owen, for actually hitting this time. <laughs> By the way, Marcus, that's Hector's axe that you're using right now. Oh uh, yeah, let's give let's give Hector his his axe. would be able to take out that Cavalier with his rapier? Probably not! <laughs> that's a good that's a good Oswin level up. I actually don't really want Oswin leveling speed. Doggone it, El Bonus damage in this game is really bad. It just... It really should be Triple Might and not... <laughs> and not... Uh, double Might. Glad to see that that javelin's getting plenty of use, though. The things I do to get spoon feed Elwood level. All right, Elwood. Is this his first level up? No, it's his second. That's another. That's another good level up right there. Glad to see he got speed. Nice job, Hector. Now, Hector's turning out to be pretty great. The problem is Hector can't get promoted until super late in the game. Nice uh, nice level up. I like strength, defense, HP. It's always great to see. Wow! Bartray doesn't get doubled. Nice job, Bartray. Now, level up speed. Just one point of speed, please. All right, Bartray, you, you got the bench, I think. Three level ups and he hasn't leveled speed even once. And he's, his speed growth is not bad, either. His speed growth is 40%, so he absolutely should have leveled speed by now. Oh, what? You think you can hit Mr. Myrmidon? You are sorely mistaken. Doge. Lowen is low-key one of the most useful units for the beginning of the game. Same with Oswin. <laughs> nice job. Alright, Elwood? Elwood, his bases are kind of lackluster, but his level-ups tend to be pretty good. Or at least they, they have potential to be very good. Alright, let's start getting that Lowen and... Let's start getting the Lowen Marcus support going. Let's keep let's keep guy out of the range of the lances and keep building that guy and Matthew support. Oswin, I generally don't like knights, but Oswin is the exception. Oswin is what a knight should be. Oswin's basically Marcus done... I'm not going to say done right, because Marcus has his own many uses that Oswin doesn't have, mainly his movement and rescuing ability. But they both kind of serve the same function for early game. Weakening enemies so your worst units can kill them and then level up. Elwood might be able to take that out with the rapier. The, problem is the rapier also has very little might. I think it only has six might. Okay, seven might. So it deals 14 damage when uh, it's an effective weapon. 
Osmond wants his javelin back. That guy only has... Oh. Never mind. What?! Are you kidding me?! Evelwood, are you serious right now? on it. You need to hit this, Marcus. Thank you. <sighs> Gotta get out without a danger. I don't like doing that when he's so low on HP, but... Wow, are you kidding me? You've missed an 86%. If I die, if Lowen dies because of that, I'm gonna be super Okay, no, well, Lowen should be safe. <sighs> I swear on Hector Hard Mode, you miss 80s and 70s so much more often than you do in other modes. I can't prove it, but I'm very sure. guy out. I don't really care who gets the experience at this point, as long as it's not Marcus. <laughs> when Matthew's in the woods, none can hit him. There's literally no chance. Same with Guy. <laughs> All it takes is a couple bad level ups, and your characters are just bad forever. Oh, yeah. Big Boys only has a Steel Lance. Alright, who needs a set of two vulnerabilities? Either Bart Ray or probably Matthew. Also, take my mine and my javelin. Marcus is going to go grocery shopping. Alright. I'm going to buy two javelins. And I think that's it. And then I'll go to the vendor and buy some vulnerabilities. And now we're gonna wolf bail the boss. Oh man, that boss can't do much damage. Come on out! We're here! What happened last time? Um, last time on the level where you fight Eric, Elwood got swarmed by like 10 guys and then died. Yeah, Marcus is back. Sarah is still dead because Pegasus Knight swarmed her and there's basically nothing I could do. And, uh, Dorcas also died, but nobody really cares about that. <laughs> Dorcas isn't exactly the favorite character. The problem now is, without Dorcas, Bart Ray is significantly worse, because he hasn't leveled speed at all, and now he can't get the Dorcas Bart Ray support. Let's try wolf bailing him and see if we can finish him with Elwood. Regardless, though, we need to get him out of there. Bart Ray can rescue him, right? Bart Ray can't rescue him, can... Okay, at least... Oh, right. That's good. Uh, nope, I'm not taking that chance. There we 
go. Two satchels of vulnerabilities. Does, does Hector... No, Hector does not have vulnerabilities. Matthew, you're gonna give him yours. I don't feel bad for Dorcas, I feel bad for Natalie. If that... If that's fair. I guess at this point we can drop Rebecca. Also, ideally I'd like to try to get the Hector Fairy in a support, because the CG at the end, if they get to A rank, is the one CG that we have not unlocked on our copy of the game. There we go. Goodbye, big boys. You've beaten me, but you're too late to save him. Too, too bad, eh, laddie? <laughs> he always seemed like kind of a cool guy. Dorcas always seemed like a normal guy. But he's such a bad unit. Wow, that's a great level up, Hector. Hector's beginning great level ups. Elwood's beginning great level ups. Lowen's beginning some pretty great level ups. Bart Ray... Guy and Matthew have not been getting very great level ups. All right, at this point we're gonna. Oh wait, we we should kill that stupid guy over there. He has a javelin. How much speed does he have? Seven. Does he get weighed down by that? Yes, he does. Cool. Bart Ray will not get doubled. All right, yeah, we're gonna have Bart Ray take on that guy, <laughs> and then we're just gonna have everybody else slowly build their supports. Oh, you're a fool for picking a fight with Barn Ray. Is Matthew the game's only thief? You get another thief league alt, but you don't get him till close to the halfway point of the game, and there's a ton of treasure in the early game that you miss out on if you don't have Matthew. So it's very important to keep Matthew alive. Oh, we should also start uh, doling out some of the prizes. So uh, here, here you go, Lowen. Take these. Take that javelin. take that javelin. You don't need vulnerabilities, though. Rebecca, you also don't need vulnerabilities, because I don't use you. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now we should be able to uh, just quickly end turns a whole bunch of times just to build supports. Because supports in this game are really dumb and require you to wait a whole bunch of turns with specific people next to each other over and over and over again. I hate how that works. I much prefer how it works in the newer games, where you only need to do it. A, we only need to have them like fight next to each other a couple times. All right, let's see if we built any. And these are the units where it's like, oh, you don't need... These are the units where it's like, oh, yeah, you don't really, like, need to stand next to each other for a super long time. Just, like, 30 turns as opposed to, like, 120. Some units do literally need to sit stand next to each other for, like, 120 turns in a row in order to get their supports. Okay, so Oswin can support Hector. I'm not sure if I want him to, though. I do want the Bowen and Marcus support, though. I think that'll be useful. Marcus, I don't know what Ice Affinity does. Oh, but Lowen's gonna give Marcus some more attack power. Okay, cool. I'll definitely do the Guy and Matthew support as well. I think Matthew gives him more accuracy, and Guy gives Matthew more attack power. Alright, that should be good. Now, unless I'm mistaken, I think we seize the throne now. Yeah, we seize the throne. Oh no, the Guy's dead. We're gonna go to Laos. This is where our run ended last time. But this is where we also get to pick our units, but we're going to pick all of them, because we can take all of them, because, uh, spoiler alert, two of my guys died. Alright. Oh, that's right, I don't have Merlinus, so I can't transfer any things. Uh, give Rebecca the mine. Just because that's kind of taking up extra room. Uh, do I want Marcus to have the Vulnerary or Bar? I want Bar 
Marcus can keep can take care of himself. Bart Ray, you get the vulnerary. I kind of want Marcus to get... I should have bought a sword for Marcus. Because I don't want him to have the silver lance and the javelin. I kind of want him to just have a sword. Uh, Elwood, you're not really using the iron sword, so give it to Marcus. Marcus, equip that as your main weapon. I'll tell you what. I'll give Marcus one vulnerary. I think that's what I'll do. We're also going to uh, have our formation ready, so... Urk's going to be up here, but he can take care of himself for a while. Marcus is going to go... Oh, formation. Marcus, you're going to go down here. Rebecca, you're going to go over there, so Marcus can immediately pick you up and take you somewhere. Bart Ray, you're going to be down here, so you can pull out these soldiers one by one. Or actually, should I have Bart Ray go up? Actually, Bart Ray can't even double that soldier. That's how bad he is. Hector can take out that guy. Hmm. Actually, okay, Rebecca, you're gonna go over here so you can just kind of run over that way. Oswin, you're also gonna go down this way. We need a lot of people to go this way because there's a bunch of enemies we need to pull. Owen, you're gonna go up there, and the rest of that should all be good. Alright, so here Urk will appear, but thankfully, because we didn't play Litten's story, Urk will not move. But we do need to keep him alive, get Priscilla, and bring Priscilla up there to talk to Urk so we can recruit her, because uh, Sarah died. I don't know how it happened, but she did. And now we're gonna break the hand axe. Probably should have bought another hand axe, but that's okay. There's an armory on this store, and on the next store, we can get one there. Alright. These guys will only come out one at a time, so we're gonna have Bart Ray just kind of pull them. They won't start moving until Laos will start demanding. Like, oh, we need the reinforcements, herpa derpa scrap. Alright, Marcus, you're gonna start charging down this way, towards uh, where Priscilla is. Oswin's gonna go behind you. Ah, uh, let's see. Bowen, you're gonna pull the mercenaries with your lance skills. Elwood, you're gonna support Hector again to boost that support. Matthew, you're gonna run up here in order to get to the Iron Blade Village. <laughs> Perfect time for a raid, boys! So the brigands are gonna go after that village in the north, and then the pirates will go after the village in the south. Oh no! Actually, the, they're soldiers. Bart Ray doesn't double the soldiers, but at least the soldiers don't double him. I forgot two of them could attack him instead of just one. I don't like that 2% crit there. That's nasty, but thankfully Lowen doesn't get doubled. But Lowen also can't take that guy out on his own. Marcus, because he has... <laughs> Marcus, because he has Rebecca picked up, is not going to get double these guys and kill them. Which is what I want. Oh no, oh, I actually got- I have to get Bart Ray out of there. Bart Ray's gonna die. I forgot- I just, the Pegasus Knights! They are the worst! Like, they're actually kind of the worst. I don't like using them particularly, and I also hate going against them, because... At least on hard mode, where they actually are a threat. Normally they deal just no damage. Alright, Priscilla's down there, yes, we know. Okay, yeah, Bart Ray, you've gotta... You gotta kinda get out of there. If I do that, can you reach me? Nope, I'm just out of reach. Alright. Keep the Iron Axe equipped, but... Okay. Bart Ray can survive one thing this night. That's okay. Oswin we can leave in the middle of nowhere, and he will survive, because he's that good. Uh, the soldiers here, yes, you cannot get any soldiers on your team unless you play the randomizer. Alright, Matthew is going to hold off on going to that village until uh, Urk can take... Because this guy's going to move over here, and Urk will take him out from a distance, and then we can go to the village. No, that's, that's suicide. 
There are too many units there. We'll build supports over there. Owen's taking a little bit of damage. Uh, how far can I march? Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Elwood, you're gonna go here. You're gonna have your... Yeah, your only weapon, the rapier, equipped. Uh, let's see. Wound. Actually, that older both the mercenary and the soldier. We don't want that. Elwood, move up here to pull just the mercenary. Hector, your boon companion, will stand by your side. Do that. And now we're gonna toss a javelin at this guy. And hope... Dog God, are you kidding me? With these stupid misses. Alright. Marcus, you're gonna go way over here and keep moving on because we gotta get Priscilla. Okay, yeah. So Murray's gonna finish off this guy. One Pegasus Knight will attack him. Maybe we'll double him, but that should be the only other unit who can actually attack Bart, right? I'm very glad I have my tanky units. I still have Marcus, and I still have Oswin, and I still have Lowen, and they're- and I have Hector, obviously. And they're kind of the units that you can take a bunch of attacks in a row. Alright, that's a very Lowen level up. HP and defense. Alright, well, I think even Marcus with rescuing someone will double the soldiers, so... Not much we can do about that. Whatever. Actually, wait, is it... I think only that way. I think only that guy can actually reach Marcus. Yep. So this is what I thought would happen. So Elwood will take two damage, but then... Oh, wait. He won't kill them. He won't kill the mercenary because stupid Lowen missed an 85%. I also do need to be careful. I need to clear out this area of enemies before I reach Priscilla because otherwise Priscilla will die. So technically, right now, my two experience hogs are kind of hogging all the experience, but it's the safest thing to do. Because this level is very dangerous. Goodbye, Laos. And this is why I equipped Marcus with a single vulnerary, because I think he'll be needing to use that after this turn. I also might equip him with the Iron Axe. Actually, he doesn't have it anymore. Oh, doggone a Bart Ray, you can almost one-shot this lady. Thankfully, he doesn't get doubled. I don't know how, and he only has free speed. Maybe it's because he doesn't, uh, have a Hand Axe equipped? Actually, is Marcus is freaking cornered. Well, that's unfortunate. I really hope Marcus survives. Glad I equipped him. Oh, thank you, Lowen, for critting. Because something tells me you would have missed the 68 otherwise. Oh, are you kidding me? Why can all of these guys attack Marcus at the same time? Okay, that's what I was hoping for. Merc is going to take out this armor knight. Actually, Marcus might be dead, but you know what, if Mar Well, no, I really want Marcus to actually reach Priscilla. That's a problem. Okay. We're gonna equip our Javelin, and we're gonna use our one Vulnerary. And I think Marcus is screwed. Bart race should be good. Thankfully, those guys at the start don't move yet. One of the rare occasions where not deploying Ruinus is actually nice. I think we need to send Hector out into the fray now. We're gonna get the Iron Blade. We can always sell it.
Alright, well, moment of truth. Let's see if Marcus survives. I'm pretty sure he's gonna die just because every single enemy is gonna be like, Get Marcus, get Marcus, get Marcus! I don't know why Marcus is taking so much damage when he's literally promoted. Oh yeah, it's because Marcus's bases suck, despite what anyone might try to tell you. His bases are only good in comparison to your other non-promoted units. In comparison to basically any other promoted unit except Isadora, they are terrible. Come on, Bart Ray, please get speed! never seen a Barry this bad before. I don't know why these archers deal so much damage. Bows are not supposed to be very powerful. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, he's not out of the woods yet. But, Marcus survived. Now the question is, can we actually save him? Does anybody over here... Oh, Bowen has vulnerabilities. Sweet. Okay. I have to make sure that Lowen doesn't die, so hang on. Gotta make sure I don't pull the boss. Alright, how, how far north can I go? Okay. Never want to trade with Rebecca. Stop trying to make me trade with Rebecca. What, what do you mean everybody can attack Marcus? That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> All right, Bart Ray, don't miss this ninety-six. Barre was amazing on my first playthrough, and he's been so disappointing in this playthrough. I bet you still everyone is going to attack Marcus. Although, they can deal more damage to Lowen, so maybe they'll all attack Lowen. Plus, they were strong! Okay, oh, that's not good. Barre got has got to get out of there now. Okay, they're going for Lowen. Actually, no, Lowen has full HP, I forgot. Okay, they are kind of going for low end. Okay, this is good. Those pirates cannot reach Marcus. And they were kind of the most dangerous, so... Yeah, Barry's got to get out of there. Nice job, low end. You miss 85s, but you hit 54s. Right, try to figure that out if you can. I cannot believe Marcus survived. Admittedly, I'm probably trying. I'm probably trying to be too aggressive going for this level super fast, but the problem is I need to save Priscilla, and I need to get Priscilla to Urk if I want to recruit him, which I do. Okay, Bart Ray might die. Actually, Bart Ray. I'm the only people who could catch Bart Ray are the Pegasus Knights. All the others he can. Oh, don't go in the stupid rain. I forgot about the rain.
That could... Oh, she has a slim lance, which means she'll be able to double Bart Ray. Gotta get him out of there. It doesn't make any sense why Rain would slow you down this much, I just want to point out. That Nomad is not... Why can the Nomad move so far in the rain? That's bull. You've never had a good fighter in either Fire Emblem 6 or 7. Okay, so... I have used Bart Ray many times in my many playthroughs, and he he always turns out at least decent. I have never seen him get this speed screwed before. He has a 40% speed groove, so it means he he usually levels up speed just slightly less than half the time. He's gotten four level ups and hasn't leveled speed even once. And the main problem with Bart Ray is if he doesn't level speed for a long time after you first get him, he's he's really bad. Which is a shame, because again, I actually like Bart Ray. Hector, you might need to go back and help take out those soldiers. Who are all going after Bart Ray. <laughs> Rain, Olaf from Advanced Wars Weakness. Yeah, but for some reason Olaf is pretty good in the snow. I still do Oh, no, 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 no! No. If they take out Priscilla, then we are screwed. We have- that we will literally have no healer. I will have to early promote Kanas, and I hate early promoting units. They're gonna freaking they're gonna reach there first because of the stupid rain. Please hit, Oswin, please hit. Oh my gosh, Oswin will do more than hit! He'll get the job done. I should I should not have gotten the Iron Blade Village. That distracted the brigands. And now, oh man, no. They're gonna get there in like three turns. Eric can't reach this forest here, so... We will lie and wait. Yeah, I sh That was my mistake. I should not have... I should not have gotten the Iron Blade from this village, because that would have made these brigands all head towards that village. But now they're heading to the sun. My only hope is that the rain lets up on the next turn. Which it won't. But that's kind of my only hope right now. If we lose Priscilla, then we are so... we're done. Except, I think Brigands prioritize attacking your units over destroying villages. So if I can move a unit in range, please, 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 Rain, please end. Please end. I'm begging you. Please stop. No! That was our last... Okay, Brigand can't reach there this turn, so... If Brigand prioritizes attacking your units over destroying villages, if the rain stops next turn, we can potentially move Marcus within range of him, and then he'll attack Marcus. Why is the boss moving on his own? Oh man, and he has a horse slayer, so I need to get Bowen out of there. Iron sword, iron sword. These guys have swords. Great. Why are all these Pegasus Knights coming? Oh boy. 
I'm pretty sure they do prioritize attacking your units over destroying villages. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's like, oh, well, on hard mode, they don't. Because, screw you. Alright, well, we'll keep Bart right there, and he can deal with one of those soldiers. I hate that 6% crit. <laughs> Alright, Loen should survive, but I need to get him away from Eric, because Eric has the Horse Slayer, which will destroy Loen. Other than that, though, like, Hector can make short work of him. Wow, Loen, that was a bad level up. I love how the boss doesn't even move first on his own map. Please, rain, stop. Please, rain, stop. Please. Thank you. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay. So he's got an impressive range. <gasps> Guys! Even if he doesn't... We're dropping Rebecca there. Now he can't reach the village, even if he wants to. And there's there's no way he's gonna one-round Rebecca anyways, so... Yes! We did it! We saved it! <laughs> we did it! We saved the city! <laughs> okay. We need these guys to start going after Oswin, but not... Actually, if the boss wants to attack Oswin, I don't have a problem with that. Again, Eric is a joke. Oh, nice crit, a Hector. I do still want to get Urk, though, so ideally we, we need to keep an enemy alive until we can have Priscilla talk to Urk, because I'm pretty sure Urk doesn't just automatically join at the end of the chapter. <laughs> Okay, well, this is not great. Nobody over here has a ranged unit, or a ranged weapon, so. There we go. Bart, way, Bart Ray as far away as he can, so that way he'll draw one of the soldiers, and then hopefully Hector can take care of the rest. so much range. I gotta get Elwood out of the way of these cap- well, I can't. That's... great. Here, Elwood, take out this stupid pipe. <laughs> there we go! Alright, did we do it? <laughs> did we do it? <laughs> Even if Rebecca dies, I don't care. Rebecca has you, has fulfilled her purpose. I know that sounds terrible to me. Like, I don't care if Rebecca dies, but, like, I, I don't. She's not a high-priority unit. Hey, Elwood, how about giving me one of those vulneraries? <laughs> you didn't have to dig a hole today, so you wouldn't mind giving up your bread to somebody who did now, would you? <laughs> I'll make sure that no more than one person can attack Elwood. Barre can at least kill the soldier. I can't believe Barre still cannot double these soldiers. It, that is so ridiculous. Laos is the true phone of Lysia! Taste my lance! Oh no, look at how bad this boss is. Like, this boss is honestly worse than a lot of common enemies on this map. He's so lackluster. Actually, Elwood might be able to kill him. They're still- No! Marcus, no! Marcus! Marcus! He still died! <laughs> At least Rebecca can recruit Priscilla. How, uh, how come the brigands were able to kill him, but the pirates weren't? I thought the pirates had more attack than the brigands did. What the, uh, whatever. Marcus, you died a hero. Marcus truly died a hero. 
he would have survived with Weapon Triangle. Well, oh, darn it. Would he have? Oh, man. I'm not sure if I had, he had a sword. Oh, man, there goes my Silver Lance. This is why I moved Lowen over there. Because they all would have attacked Elwood otherwise. Okay. So Elwood has 8 strength plus 14 might. So that gives me 22 attack. Okay, he can't kill Eric because Elwood has a hard time killing anything. But with a little help from Bosswin... Perhaps we could change our fate. Yeesh, I don't like that. Alright, well first, Fane's... F this is not good, actually. This is really bad. This is actually really bad. Okay. Oh, uh, boy. This is really, really bad. Because Rebecca will die, unless we recruit Priscilla, but Pr Priscilla's going to get murdered by all these guys. And we can't talk... Are you kidding? Are you serious? I think we're screwed. I think I think no matter what we do, we, we are screwed. Alright, well, let's do the easy thing first. Killing Edge guy. Marcus dying kind of screwed everything up, actually. I thought for sure, because again, the pirates didn't have enough strength to kill Marcus, so I assumed the brigands didn't either. Alright, well, Rebecca will definitely die without... Actually, wait, how much damage will she take? Uh, she won't die. If we move her on the village, she won't die. Because only one of them will be able to attack. They have 17 attack, and Rebecca, I assume, has just free defense. She can take one hit. Will they double? They only they have six speed. She has six speed, and she gets weighed down by. Okay, yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. She's gonna go on the village. She's not going to visit it though, because if we visit the village, Priscilla comes out and she will die. We can't have that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have. Let's see. Yes, we want Iron Lance. We're going to rescue Elwood because he's in severe danger. He's in the danger zone. Now we're going to have Hector attack Pegasus Knight, and Oswin will hopefully be left behind to deal with all of these guys, and then Priscilla will be able to be safe on the next turn, and Rebecca will die. That's okay, though. Alright, Oswin is on the forest. Cool. None of these guys have ranged weapons, so we're going to use our Lance for better accuracy. And hopefully, we can at least lure these guys away or take them out with this turn and next turn. I made the brigands stronger by having a lance equipped. No, even when Marcus had the javelin equipped against the pirates, they still didn't kill him, though. It's okay, though. I didn't really need Marcus beyond this chapter. This was kind of the last chapter where he... Oh! Oh, no. Eric doubles, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. I thought Lowen would have been able to get away from... Oh, I should have moved Oswin to block him from doing that. Okay. Well, Lowen's in a little bit of danger now. If Lowen dies, that's going to be really bad. <laughs> if Lowen dies, I'll have to use Kent and or Sane who are kind of difficult to use. Oh my gosh, Rebecca Dodge! She can survive another turn, potentially. Eric is quite a formidable boss. No, he's not! If you compare his stats to... Because Eric is a high-level Cavalier. If you compare his stats to the other Cavaliers, he's barely better, and they are, like, many magnitudes of level lower than him. Okay, Lowen should be good. Even if he gets doubled by a couple of these guys, he should be good. <laughs> Don't like that 6% crit! No, not my Lowen. Not my Lowen. 
one more guy can reach Lowen, but if he if he's lugging a lance, he might be able to kill Lowen. Sane is one of the better units in this game, almost as good as Florian. I do not! Okay, thank goodness. I don't consider Florian to be that good of a unit. I'm just, just gonna throw that out there. Florian takes is way too difficult to actually use. Okay. First, we need to kill Eric. We're doing that with Oswin. Bye, Eric. Unhand me! I am no one's prisoner! Ah, I can't talk right! <laughs> Eric was our number one priority to kill. And he is dead. And we get a horse slayer. Lowen, okay, good. Lowen actually has. Okay, we also probably need to we need to take out that Pegasus Knight. Pegasus Knight can double and has that annoying crit chance. Cool. Now that that is done, what we're gonna do is move Lowen on here. Let's see, he still has the lance equipped, and we can give him a vulnerary, and yeah. Even if these free cavaliers all attack him, he should be. Alright. Now. I'm gonna leave Rebecca there for another turn. Because she thank thankfully she dodged just to increase Priscilla's chances of survival. Make sure Bartrid does not get in range of these two guys. Cool, he will not be. Thank you, Bartray. There isn't a better flying unit, pretty much. Flor Maybe I just got really unlucky when I used for it. I've I've gotten Florina to her highest potential, or her max level. She was all right. She wasn't that great though. I'm just not a fan of the flying units in general. All right, we kind of need to clear a path just to make sure that Priscilla can survive. Flying units are broken in this game, and they have Kanto. Kanto's okay. It's not great. Like, it can be useful. I wish... If you could use Kanto after attacking, that would be great. Okay, Rebecca has to visit the village now. Again? Okay, here's Priscilla. Now. That's not good. Can she still get attacked by multiple guys? Not if she moves here. If she moves there, she only gets attacked by one axe user. There's no way an axe user can one round her. I didn't say... Kanto's okay. It has a couple uses, but again, most of the time you want to attack. And you can't Kanto after that. Alright. Lowen, you're gonna go down here and help save her. Get that Iron Sword equipped and use your- Pull off your last vulnerary. Kanto is useful for rescuing, and that's about it. Oh my gosh, they almost one-shot her. What the heck? Alright, well, rip Rebecca. Your sacrifice was worthy, Rebecca, because we desperately need a healer. Alright, get her out of here. Uh, how far can she move again? I already forgot. Urk there. I don't think I've ever recruited Urk with Priscilla before, but it can be done. Talk to Urk. Urk! Lady Priscilla! Why did you leave the village? It's dangerous out here! The Marquis of Faria's son came to my aid. Actually, it was this random girl who died immediately after talking to me. Listen, Urk. 
I want to join Lord Ellawood's company and help them. My lady? Lord Ellawood, he's searching for his missing father. If we travel together, perhaps my own goal... I see what you mean. It's a sound idea. Irk. Would it be selfish of me to ask you to come along? Never. Of course I will go with you. Lady Priscilla, my teacher entrusted you to my care. Until you have reached your goal, I will not leave your side. Thank you, Irk. Well, at least unless, um... Unless Sarah is around. Alright, now we gotta pull these brigands one at a time. We definitely want to get the Irk Priscilla uh, support. Can Barring guys... I should check the supports that people can do after this chapter. Oh, there's still a cavalier over there. He's like, oh, everyone left without me! I don't... I don't even think in this you can canto after you heal. Which is kind of crazy. Mm. Well, we've got people who can rescue her. Uh, guy, worst case. Thank you for dodging, guy. Appreciate it, brother. Alright, guy. Second level up. Please get strength. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Malicious compliance at its finest. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll get strength. Only strength. So if I mend Elwood, oh yeah, need to turn off her animations. Yeah, like, you can't even canto after you heal in this. You can only canto after you, like, visit a village or, like, rescue. So it's really only useful for to rescue and pull people away, which, don't, don't get me wrong, that's definitely useful and it saved my butt a bunch. But it's not something I really rely on, if that makes sense. Alright, here you go, Urk. <laughs> nice crit. I'm actually not sure if I'll use Urk, but I might as well try. Alright, well... Because Marcus died, that frees up a support a uh, support slot for Loen. Actually, Marcus probably would have been helpful in the next chapter. There's a lot of enemies next chapter. Loen, are you serious? That's your third crappy level up in a row. Thankfully, Priscilla can now heal up a bunch of units, maybe get a level up out of it. <laughs> Marcus is helpful all the way through endgame? Um, disagree. <laughs> Marcus gets slaughtered by late-game enemies. Unless you, like, manipulate the RNG to ensure he gets go to level ups. Unless you use him specifically for, like, rescuing. <laughs> There's still that one Cavalier. Which is actually great, because now, again, we can just have Priscilla heal up everybody. We gotta get as much EXP as we can. Oh! Speaking of which... Let's get her a heal staff. Let's get some libraries. We're gonna need some of those. Let's see. Who has an empty an empty inventory and can buy us some weapons? Matthew, you can go and sell the iron. Well, let's see how much the iron blade actually sells for.
How much does that sell for? Oh, we don't even have hand axes here. 490? And it's got a might of nine. I'll keep it around for the time being. I have a goddess icon. I was saving the goddess icon for Raven, though, who absolutely needs it. <laughs> because, spoiler alert, uh, Raven is one of the few characters who starts with almost no luck, and pretty much every enemy has a very tiny crit chance against him. An extra two luck actually kind of goes a long way in his case. And I definitely want to use Raven, because, um... I consider Raven to be one of the best characters in the game, if not the best. And on hard mode, he'll get even bit he'll get even bigger buffs to his bases. Oh wait. Or Priscilla with support. Actually, eh, we don't really need the Priscilla support for right now. Pull the guy with Bart Ray. Nice dodge. And pfft, wow. That's the problem when you start. Okay, Bart Ray. If you level speed up right now, I might change my mind. Okay, no, Bart Ray gets the bench. Bart Ray gets the bench. I figured Bart Ray would get the bench to begin with. Oh, sweet. Free heal. Really? Alright, Elwood. Wow, Elwood can actually take him out. Oh, nice. Way to show off. Oh, wait. Elwood kind of needed a sword. Oh, well. <laughs> we can get one next chapter. His rapier ain't going anywhere. Whew. Come on, Eric. Get up. Oh, wait. I forgot. There's an extra... Oh, I forgot about Talon's Light. I rarely play Hector mode, so I actually totally forgot about this chapter. Okay, this one without Marcus actually might be tough. Lord Hector, we're under attack! I for How did I forget about this chapter? Okay. No, I'm picking- I'm picking Urk, obviously. Who needs- Elwood needs vulneraries. I'm also gonna give him the goddess icon just to keep safe hold of. If Elwood dies, it's game over anyways. Hmm, actually, no Marcus on this chapter could be tricky. No, I think I'll keep, I'll have Hec uh, Oswin keep the Horse Slayer. Um, who has the highest con? Almost certainly it's going to be, yeah. Bowen, you can take the Iron Blade. Just in case you ever need it. Alright, well, we gotta defend the throne. It's sealing. Our goal is the throne. We'll attack from the front and send another unit behind. We want to drive the enemy into a state of chaos. The ambush units are concealed as ordered. When the enemy splits its forces, we strike. That's all. Go. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot this chapter. You need Marcus to destroy the boss. Well, I don't need to kill the boss. <laughs> Tyrone, <laughs> if the goal is to defend, knights are your best hope. We can use our thick armor to form a living shield. I await your orders, Tyrone. By the way, my real name is not Tyrone. I don't even know why I made that the name of my tactician. I just did. Oh, sweet. Oswin can just destroy it outright. Excellent. Let's take out this nomad. Please crit. Guy's not even fast enough to double a guy even when he has a killing edge. If Urk misses, we can rescue of Hector. Are you kidding me? I am so sick of my units missing at really high hit rates. This never happens in Elwood Normal mode. I don't know why it's happening here. Alright, well. Guy might be dead. I'm not going to attack. But I will wait there so that way Mr. Soldier Man can't attack Guy. Why did it... Why does Elwood start this in this crappy position? 
Iron Bow. Okay, he, he has a Dragon Shield, which would help, but I'm not going to... Oh my gosh, everywhere is... Okay. Matthew, we need your assistance. There we go. Oh, I had I had preps. You can change your position. Yeah, I could have. I should have. It, it all worked out, though. It all worked out. Seventy-eight percent is not that high, though. Yes, it is. Seventy-eight percent in two RN is like really close to a hundred percent. It, it should miss occasionally, but it has missed far more often than it should have up to this point. Across my two playthroughs. Alright, we are getting rid of the Nomad. Nomads are stupidly annoying. <laughs> Bart Ray, you're still going to get the bench long term, but short term, I do need your strength. <laughs> of course you do. Alright. Uh oh. Everybody's coming to kill me. Great. Oh, wow. We do double this guy, though. This is great. We do need to take out that mage. Alright, now now we've gotta get him out of here. Well, actually, hang on. Mercenaries are generally not that powerful. They have... Okay, Elwood has seven defense, so mercenary's gonna deal four damage to him. Only one nomad can hit him. Even if he doubles. If I heal Elwood, he actually should be okay. Just double checking the knight can't reach him. Okay, good. Nobody can hit. Alright, cool. We'll just heal him up. Yeah, I need to make use of the uh, pillars. Let's put Matthew on the throne. Because I kind of need Oswin out here to start taking out these, these losers. Wow, even Hector with the wolf bail can't take that guy out. That's annoying. This will also give Elwood the bump to move him into support range. Alright. Cowabunga Luya, dudes! I can't believe Owen doesn't kill this guy. When. <laughs> even when he doubles him. Why does that soldier have so much HP? That's kind of insane. Alright. Here we go. Lowen and Oswin can kind of be the living tanks. Yep, Throne heals. Yes, it does. Alright, great level up for Oswin. Oh man, the knight blocked the way from the nomad. That's amazing. All right, nice job. Elwood's kind of tankier when he has uh, Hector near him. Oh wait, I forgot Urk was damaged. That's why I, why I rescued him. Or Pent, I'm not a worthy student after all. Okay, well, that kind of sucks, but at least I get, I traded away his goddess icon. Oh, that nomad doesn't double level wood and he only deals that much damage? Oh, okay. I... What the butts? What? Why? Okay, well, that's going to change what I do on my turn. Hector's going to be the tank. 
Bart Ray pulled back. Elwood, you've got vulneraries, so... Uh, that's not good. I forgot all about this level. It has been years since I've experienced this level, so... Hmm. Barry, I'm counting on you. Fuck on it, Barry. I get 65% missing, but oh man, when it really counts, he can't pull himself together. All right, Elwood, you're gonna move back. There's no way that we can take out this. No, no way. Okay. Probably I'm doing things bad. Almost certainly I am doing things bad, but... You know, we, we kind of... We don't have a whole lot of options right now. If Matthew's on the pillar, he should be able to dodge pretty much everything. You on the throne with your javelin. So is gonna move back here and heal up guy. If you don't kill the boss, they sh those guys show up every turn. What? What kind of sadist difficulty is this? Are you kidding me, Matthew? I know you have weapon triangle disadvantage, but you're a high speed thief on a pillar. See, Elwood dodged it. Oh, Elwood did more than dodge it. <sighs> Great level up, Elwood. Proud of you. At least, at least Hector's reliable. Hector can totally hold the left side at bay. No problem. Yeah, Hector will have no problem with these guys. And if they spawn every turn, you know what? We can literally just wait every turn. The treasure chests at the bottom are not even that great. Man, Elwood with the crits! Good job! Ella good, even though his last level up was a little lackluster. Okay, that guy's not gonna hit Matthew, at least. Well, I think that's run over, folks. <laughs> that's definitely run over, folks. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe, maybe Hector Hard Mode Iron Man's are not for me. <laughs> yeah, you can steal the prize. I don't care if you steal the prize. Seriously, why? You don't one-shot these guys with your effective weapon? No staves, no thieves, no Marcus. It's an uphill battle. Hector at least can hold this area off. Just remove guy on the pillar. Bart Ray on the throne to kill that nomad over there. And 
meantime, we need to start prepping for these sword users coming down here. I'm gonna have Oswin get the first attack in, just because Oswin is gonna be pretty much invincible outside of these magic users. Anyways, he would have one shot in the Japanese version. Yeah, Japanese version, it effective damage is triple might, which is what it absolutely should be. You serious? Thank goodness you doubled, but are you kidding me? I swear they changed the hit rates for hard mode. I swear it. Are you are you guys seeing this? Have you counted the amount of times I've missed a, an attack that I should have hit? Like it's so stupid. Oh wait, Bart Ray might die. Actually, yeah, Bart Ray's gonna die, isn't he? Well, if we have to go down, we go down fighting. <laughs> Bart Ray's almost certainly dead because he missed a 76. <sighs> oh wow, that guy didn't go for Bart Ray. I'm very surprised about that. He just missed a 91. Like, what is wrong with this game? Oh, yeah. I knew this was run over anyways, but... At least we made it to one chapter further. In my defense, I forgot this chapter existed. Way to level up speed, Hector. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, from what I've noticed on Hector Hard Mode, enemies tend to hit even when they have low chances to hit, and you got your guys always tend to miss when they have high chances to hit. Not on, like, Evelwood Normal Mode, just Hector Hard Mode. Perhaps that's one of the reasons I've never really beaten it before. Wow, they're not going after Bart Ray. Whoops. Oh, well, because... They could end the game that way. <laughs> that actually makes sense. Alright, well... We didn't even have a good run. That was a bloodbath. But we made it farther than last time, and I consider that progress. <laughs> Alright, well... I kind of made the deal where if I failed this run... That I would stop doing Hector Iron Hard Mode Iron Man streams for at least a while. I'll probably start streaming something else on Saturday instead. But this is a good learning experience. <laughs> I learned that I'm not good at this game. <laughs> I also learned that the RNG, I swear, changes on Hector Hard Mode, but, eh, I can blame other things all I want. I did not play great, and I, I can admit that, and I've, I've learned some stuff, so maybe I can put that to practice next time. But in the meantime, that's it for today, folks. Thanks for joining the stream. This was a lot of fun. I will not be streaming this again next Saturday. I'm going to be taking a break from this, and I'll have to think of another game to play. But. I stream Saturdays on 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I stream Monday and Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so tune in for any of those. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.